We are writing to you, Social Security and SSDI beneficiaries. Please note that the final dates have been finalized and that on September 11th, you will get the first installment of $3,800. Please mark your calendars accordingly. You should be prepared to verify your funds and check your balance. Greetings and salutations, and thank you for returning to Stimulus Updates, the channel where you can find the most recent information regarding stimulus programs. I'm Ali, and I'm here today to tell you about some great news. Okay, everyone, the day has come when we've all been waiting. Important news, the Social Security Administration has just verified the exact dates of the forthcoming payments. September 11th is when the first installment of the massive $3,800 is supposed to land in people's bank accounts. Yes, yes, that is correct, September 11th, 2024. I can understand your thoughts now. Wow, that sum is substantial, and it's on its way. I couldn't agree with you more. In addition, there is much to clarify. Now that we have all the necessary information, let's dissect it piece by piece. Can you tell me who can get the $3,800? We should start by discussing who is qualified to receive this large sum of money. Those who are receiving Social Security Disability Insurance SSDI or Social Security Retirement Benefits are the intended recipients of this payment round. But wait, there's more. Only certain of these groups will get $3,800. Several things will determine the precise sum you'll get. The amount of your present benefit. Years lived. How many years? Have you been getting benefits? I realize that sounds complicated, so allow me to explain it in more detail. Some recipients will receive no more than the maximum sum of $3,800. In most cases, this will be applicable to people who have been collecting Social Security payments for a while, are above 70 years old, and have been receiving the highest amount possible. The sum will be smaller but still substantial for the majority of people. The Social Security Administration has predicted that this round's average payment will be close to $1,800 many people's monthly incomes will still get a significant lift from it. Why is the payout so substantial? This sudden and substantial reward may have you scratching your head. Recent policy shifts in economic. Developments are the root causes of this, but there are a few other factors as well. Raise for living expenses. Go to OLI and extremely high cost of living adjustment for 2024 accounts for a substantial amount of this payment. People who are familiar with the COLA program know that it helps ensure that Social Security benefits remain competitive with inflation. Considering the inflationary trend of the past few years, this has led to a larger-than-average COLA. This payment covers modifications that were delayed earlier in the year owing to administrative problems, and it also includes back pay for some beneficiaries. Many beneficiaries have seen an increase in their benefits because of recent legislative amendments that altered the formula for calculating some benefits. Unlike the COVID-19 stimulus payments that were handed out at the height of the epidemic, this one will be ongoing. Rather, it's an adjustment to continuing benefits which implies that many beneficiaries would see increased monthly payouts from here on out. The timetable for payments due on September 11th. Sure, I'd like to get down to brass tacks regarding the payment due on September 11th. I indicated before that this is the date when the money will be transferred to bank accounts. Be advised that this may not be applicable to all individuals on a certain day. The Social Security Administration adopts a birthdate-based staggered payment plan. This is the breakdown. September 11th is when you may expect to get your money. Paychecks for birthdays occurring. Between September 11th and the 20th will be sent out on September 18th. Additionally, you can anticipate receiving your payout on September 25th if your birthday falls between the 21st and the end of the month. The schedule is slightly different for individuals receiving SSDI. The third of every month is when SSDI recipients normally get their benefits. The Social Security Administration has chosen to include this payment in the retirement benefit schedule this time around because of its size and significance. How does this impact your financial situation? The who, what, when, and why have been discussed. The implications for your own financial situation are now up for discussion. To begin with, for a lot of people, this is a huge windfall. The full $3,800 is enough to cover the average receiver for several months of benefits. Regardless of the average amount, it's still a significant quantity. Some things to think about are as follows. In terms of financial planning, this greater payment might help you pay off debt, put more money away, or perhaps just get a little bit ahead of the curve. Think about making a strategy for the utilization of these monies in advance of their arrival. Possible effects on taxes. Keep in mind that your total income determines whether or not your Social Security benefits are taxable. 
Some individuals may find themselves in a higher tax bracket for the year as a result of this increased payment. For further information on how this could influence you, it could be wise to talk to a tax expert. Your calculation of benefits. Other benefits, including Medicare premiums or housing aid, may need to be recalculated for some recipients as a consequence of this payment. In the event that you get additional types of aid, you should verify this with the appropriate authorities. Payments to come, as I indicated before for many, this bigger payment signifies a continuing rise in benefits. You should include this in your budget for the future. When money is due but has not arrived, what are your options? Let us now talk about something that I know a lot of people are worried about. How can I proceed if my payment is delayed? By the scheduled date. Please, first of all, gather your composure. Even while the Social Security Administration is usually prompt with their payments, delays are possible, particularly with the payment. Of this magnitude. I'll tell you what to do. Keep the funds in your account for a minimum of three working days following the due date. Keep a close eye on all of your financial transactions, whether completed and unfinished. Get in touch with the Social Security Administration SSA privately if you haven't gotten your transfer yet. You have a few options for doing this going to your neighborhood SSA office, calling or using their website. The Social Security Administration will never contact you by email or text message requesting sensitive information. Claiming to be from the Social Security Administration and requesting personal information is a common fraud. In the long run, how will this help? We must examine the implications for the future of Social Security. Benefits, despite the excitement surrounding this substantial payout, the Social Security Administration's SSSA dedication to ensuring that payments remain competitive with inflation is reflected in this rise, which is wonderful news. This demonstrates how the system adapts to changing economic conditions and strives to keep recipients' standard of living stable. Rest assured, I will diligently monitor any additional developments and provide you with an update as soon as I am able to. If you like this video and want to stay up to date on all things related to personal finance, social security, and retirement planning, consider subscribing to the channel. Also, please get in touch with me. I welcome your message. Tell me in the comments how you intend to put this enhanced perk to use. Is it going into savings, investments, or a particular reward for yourself? Thank you for tuning in. Until our next video together. If you enjoyed this social security and retirement planning video, please consider subscribing and leaving a comment.